probably thought that I quit YouTube. Well, you're wrong. Today we're back in this pine forest here. It's very beautiful weather. And the... Yeah, this place is amazing. We're gonna spend the night here and later on I'm gonna tell you a few reasons why I haven't been so active in the last few months. Stay tuned. This place is exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, this is my shelter that I made uh, with only this little survival kit here. If you want to see that with, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. And over here, I just need a few repairs, and that should be fine for the night. Interesting thing is, check this physics. Nothing holds this. And I just don't get it. You're probably wondering if I'm annoyed by this. The reason for this is I'm deep in the bear country here. And we have also wolves, lynx, all kinds of animals that can hurt you. If you stick to some rules, there's really not a problem. And Someone told me that I should buy a bell and put it around my neck like I'm a goat or something. Well, imagine if I meet someone <laughs> like that. So this is a much better option. Over here, my old knife. My beauty, I don't know if it's focused, Becker BK-17. Amazing knife. I'm gonna show you gear later. What I'm gonna do now is I need to find that stream because I'm very thirsty. I have only one liter of water and I'm really hoping that it's out there. Let's try to find it. Link in the description, check it out. Following this beautiful Rubred. Walking for half an hour. And I saw the snow up on the mountain, so it has to be melting. So I have high hopes in point of water. This place is just amazing. And it's amazingly quiet. Spring is coming. I just wanted to quit search for water. And then I stopped and I think that I can hear the stream. So I'm gonna continue until I get there. Now let me show you real quick what I have here regarding gear. I 
have my axe of course med kit sleeping mat over here I have some gear for the cam here are my keys and headlamp over here I have chocolate I have food ration some shiny paracord and in here I have my beer bag for sleeping right now I'm gonna start with repairs on my shelter after it we're gonna light a fire and everything that I need I have around here I need some pine needles and a few pieces of wood to cover the collapsed side of the shelter in front here I'm gonna make fireplace but I'm gonna put more stones here and make the oven type campfire so the stones will be until here and that should provide more heat than building a reflector I'm gonna put my gloves on I started the sweat and this jacket just holds heat amazingly I'm gonna show you one thing and this model of a jacket is a Silence Pro shell jacket and here is some info on it you can find on rollersrace.com and the price is really awesome you have ends here and here and great sponsors And this side for the most part is done and it's covered pretty good looks like haystack that's the reason why you have to be pretty careful here not light on fire and there's a second reason why I'm gonna make that oven type stone fireplace just to protect myself because this here could easily become oven with me inside that wouldn't be good at all this of course here doesn't protect me from the rain now don't be fooled with some vids with natural shelters it leaves like this trust me it will cover you just a little bit but no most of the natural shelters are not waterproof they'll hold it for some time but water always find a way you can do it with the spruce needles with spruce branches now this is the pine don't mix it but uh, yeah, for this, it gives me protection from the wind, for the second part, the mental protection, because I feel like I'm in some walls and that some critters or something cannot come to me. It's also not the truth. Okay, I'm gonna continue with the other side and it goes pretty good for now. Ta-da! Well... I'm pretty much finished, I covered both sides and now finally it looks like shelter and for all of you who want to train 
this scale of the debris shelter and this is the height I did a lot of these and every time I had the same problem it was too short and when I lay inside it's just not enough space you can make it smaller if you're in the army and you want to be camouflaged or something but if you want some comfort for you and your gear this is the way to go and I have enough space for my stuff here and I can lay with my length and my head is somewhere around here I'm gonna show you right now as you can see it's fine also I can sit here and I'm covered from the sides I can enjoy in my campfire well as I said before there is a real reason why you haven't seen any vids in some time it is still hard for me to talk about it and uh, as some of you know I posted a pic of my oldest dog now she was uh, almost four years old should be four at March 12th of March but uh, in the last few weeks of her life we noticed that she became very skinny and she stopped eating she drank a lot of water and it was just something like it's usually it's normal we have two dogs and for one time we had three of them and yeah she was drinking a lot it was not strange because she was usually doing that my other dog which you'll see in most of my vids and second vids today he's not with me here because uh, last time I had accident with deers here because he's crazy son of a and uh, he's not afraid to attack anything and only thing that he's afraid of is of puppies which is funny of course now what I was saying is we noticed that she drinks a lot and for one period she just stopped eating and uh, we had to a red station they took a blood example and some of the parameters were so high that it just you couldn't even measure it problem is there was a kidney failure and yeah she was an amazing dog I mean great family it's 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 very hard for me to to, to, to still so we did our best we really that confronts me that uh, we really did everything that we can and the last day of her life and I decided uh, it was the most hardest decision in my life there's not much things in life that can break me but this stuff is just I felt like I'm going there just to put down my my own kid it just that's how much we loved her it's just part of family love you have dogs love you know what I'm talking about and uh, it's crazy hard it's crazy hard and uh, the last day we had an idea to take her to another city on uh, a university and it just she had a seizure that day and it was very bad it was very bad to watch it it was just it was crazy that whole week she didn't want to eat anything she just I was not home I was uh, in another city because I'm going to some school for my work and oh, I really don't know what's harder for me and um, at that time it was very hard for me to stay home to watch her like that she I got her when she was a puppy we went through all kind of stuff together she had all kind of injuries and for the other side it was very hard to me to not be home and it just yeah I didn't miss I made a decision that it has no sense anymore and uh, yeah we took her and we put her down to sleep and she also had a seizure at the time that um, she was uh, injected with the first of three injections 
and yeah it was very hard it took me a while to just to talk about it and uh, it's still very hard it hurts it will still hurt because uh, it's, it's not that she was old so when you have a dog that is old 10 11 years it's just something you expect but this she was basically a pup so that was pretty bad it knocked me out pretty bad I was in really bad condition trust me when I say that over here I was uh, two weeks ago I tried to make it but it just it didn't go I couldn't even talk it's just it's horrible it's horrible and I have one advice for all of you that uh, have the same problem and you have to put your dog to sleep be there cry if you want don't cry in front of your dogs wait till it's done then it just, it's just like this Now with that being said, we're gonna continue with uh, all of this stuff here. I have to collect some rocks to cover this uh, fireplace and I'm gonna light the fire and cook some meal, cook some tea and just, I came here to enjoy. In future, there will of course be vids as I did a hunting vid, there will be more action or something, but just right now I know that a lot of you like this bushcraft camp vids and this is for all of you. Now I'm gonna continue with the fire making and I forgot my spoon so we're gonna make one. Now some of you may ask yourself Why do I baton? The reason for that is very simple Sometimes batoning is much safer than using an axe By that mean If you use an axe And you want to split this piece in half You're always smashing around your fingers I don't want to do that and if I want to baton this I'll simply just put a knife in place take another stick and bit by bit just break it apart second reason is it's very satisfying simple as that here I got a nice little tinder bundle and it took me a while to collect this not much dry grass around here and now i'm gonna light the fire and uh, i'm gonna put this inside here 
I have prepared some of the sticks. So here's the moment of truth. It's very tricky to film this and make it happen because I don't have much time to put those kindling on. But here we go. Well, I had a little accident, but uh, I got a spork now, and I actually need it for this meal. At least I think so. I don't even know what's inside. Although, not bad for 10 minutes. With my tactile spoon over here. I'm gonna put my sleeping mat inside of my shelter and As you can see, my spork works just perfect. Oh. Ah, that's hot. Well, <laughs> a lot of you guys make fun of me when I'm eating that it's just... I cannot control my motions. By the way, this is gorgeous, it's just uh, too spicy for my taste, but... Uh, can't be better. It's very nice to be here and just listen surroundings. It's just amazingly quiet and I saw two deers half an hour ago up there so they seems to be interested in me 
it's better to be deer than the bear, of course. And it's been a while since I sleep outdoors, so every time it time passes, it's just some feeling of uh, being so small. Of course, people are afraid of things they they're not familiar with that in humankind, in human mind. So uh, it's been a while, and it's just you have that chilling, and it's hard to explain. For all of you who were out there, and you probably know what I'm talking about. After some time, when you do a lot of overnighters in uh, some time, you just get used to it, and it's just something, just something normal for you. It's good to be aware of your surroundings, of course, and. Uh, I'm just guest here and that's the best way to show your respect to guys who live here. Well this walls really really Insulated great. I feel no wind so far and Right now I'm gonna try to get some sleep and it's very quiet outside really not much noises as it used to have around my campsite So I will see you guys in the morning Well, good morning, guys. That was a pretty long night, and oh no, it was very warm. I didn't even need my BB sleeping bag since it was very nice. The fire kept well until four until four o'clock, and it was very good. Something was sniffing around my shelter. I'm gonna check now for some traces, but. Uh, all in all very nice what I'm gonna do now is I will cook some tea for myself and that's how we're gonna end this sweat and for the end I made some small memorial with for my dog so thank you all guys for watching and as always I will see you next time